Hello everybody, welcome to the stream tonight. This is part two of our Saturday night in North America. We're starting off here with the Palador Fan Club. Who that? Uh, versus Planet Express. And on the casting desk, I am Palador. Oh, that's who. Uh, and Caption here, right next to me. How's it going, Caption? It's going so well. I don't know if it will continue going that way, though, because I keep getting uh, lag on my stream, so hopefully that's not going to affect my cast or anything. Please let me know if it does. No, you don't need the stream. We just need your voice. You sound good to me, so as long as you're in the game, uh... we should be okay. Uh, anyway, launch is going to be underway. Oh, no, I did it again. Hold on. Let me let me erase this real quick. Okay, don't mind that. Nothing happened. It was I wasn't... I wasn't doing stuff before the stream started, don't worry. Anyways, game is underway, so hello. It's uh, Ice and Jammerin with a disc there, pa passing it to Hecken, and Hecken going for a clear, and over to the other side. How's it, uh, how's it going, Caption? No. Good. Do I still sound good after that one heck of a clear? Yeah. Uh, one heckin' of a clear, indeed. Uh, this is... Uh, this is strong, but even stronger. Gonna be Jammerin getting that over to Ice, and Ice... Putting that down on the ground, not hitting the net though, so it's just gonna be backed out over into the end, and it's gonna be almost, uh, almost recovered there by Planet Express. But regardless, fan club gonna be having that one as they try to pass that one over across. Uh, just missing everyone's hand though, so gonna be back over to Planet Express as they go to get their boost, getting off. Uh, no one gonna be there, unfortunately. It is gonna be fan club back with the disc. Yeah. So these two uh, newer teams. <sighs> With mostly newer people, uh, Jammerin, of course, aka Cam Jam G, has been seen uh, quite a bit over preseason, season one, Pizza League, season two, even. Uh, Lulz are the best, receiving the pass from Fire Ninja. That was a pretty hot pass up to the shoulder uh, for the first couple points. Planet Express. Yeah, hand to hand, tape to tape. It went right from his hand right to the perfect spot. Didn't even have to move off that block, and he put it behind the goalie. So, yes. Great pass. Yes, sir. Good shot there. Good, uh, heady play. So first two points go in the opposite way of, well, you would think I'd be biased towards Palador Fan Club, right? But truth be told, I'm alarmed. That logo, Paladar though. Like his fans. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like looking at my own face on my on the stream. It's weird. Uh, but nonetheless, this team coming out here off of a win against Reboot yesterday. We caught up half that match on stream. Uh, as they did play the first round off stream because of some delays, but nonetheless, uh, coming in, winning a couple matches in a row. They're 3-3 three and three overall on the season. As Lulz are the best, gets a nice steal, so Planet Express uh, actually losing it here. Jammerin slapping it out there, but there's cross check with the cross shot right across the ramp, but will be slapped back out once more. Yeah, so good, good looks actually coming here from Planet Express. They're looking to spread this floor as they get another great pass going all the way over and a pass over the Pac-Man there. So y'all looking to get something started. They're going to be able to back this one up a little bit of a double commit, but that's not going to hurt them too much. But Hacken going to be getting that back out for another clear, but not quite making it. So Planet Express looking to recover this. And the, that they do. It's lulls are the best with the disc. It just gets it off in time. He kind of, uh, must have heard the, the audio. Ooh, ooh. What? What? Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. Must have uh -huh. heard the audio cue as that one is just off cue, so no harm done, but it will be taken back actually uh, by Ice, and Ice gets a clear off of that very uh, awkward interaction. Yeah. <laughs> if you can hear Fire Ninja, just in case you couldn't tell, he did end up lagging, but uh, that shot not going to be quite there. Uh, this um, is going to end up back in the hands of Planet Express once again. Uh, looks like they have a little bit of trouble getting this clear. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy. Caption, caption. Yeah. Caption, you have turned full robot on me just now. Uh, uh, and are remaining that way for the moment, it sounds like. So I, I think it's contagious. Starts with the server, goes to caption. It's a. Uh, I guess uh, we need to quarantine the internet now. Oh no. Uh, am I still a robot? Am I still a robot? You're a semi-robot. -ro a little bit better than you were, though. I'll just stay quiet. We'll give it a try and maybe another play. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of mentioned this yesterday also, casting with Skinny, and I know there's been a server issues going on, but uh, again, I think this is more so... It's just a thing with it, the internet in general right now. A lot of... Uh, 
A lot of server overload with all the traffic coming through because of people indoors these days. So uh, I think it's been happening a lot across multiple avenues, multiple websites, games, what have you. So uh, just got to bear with it. Caption, checking in. How's, how's it going? Almost in a got to Mr. Oh, oh. Roboto. Oh, boy. Um, well, this is unfortunate as Fire Ninja goes through for a pass over to Sonic Roland. He's going to try and roll in and give, give a nice uh, pass handoff there to Lulz. Soft shot, though, on a stun goalie. Couldn't get it to drop uh, as Fire goes for the shot and saving, clearing, stealing, rather, and uh, off to the up opposite pocket. Uh... Dare I ask? <laughs> how, 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 oh, you're, you're better. Go, Captain, go. Hey! We're going to go back. Will I stay better? That's the question. Is Sonic Nolan maybe gets a goal here? Maybe I'll be better, but he's going to back that one off. Still on the table. Lulz going to be going for a shot. Digging off the post, though, so it's going to be almost back out there. Looking for that clear once again, but again, not going to be able to find that. Just going to hit off that tunnel, so... Gotta actually end up back in the hands of Great Bounce, actually going for the side of... Planet Express, uh, their side of the floor anyway, as Lulz are the best takes a disc. He's uh, been all over today, seems like frequently when I'm calling the first person to the disc, it seems like Lulz is there quite a lot. Yeah, and now Echo Aiden looking to get something started and just gonna be able to set the one down in the hands of Wells with Jamron. So Jamron is gonna get something going, maybe get some jumping, get some spinning, gonna be juking, looking for a shot, but it's still looking, cause that's gonna be safe from cross check as he gets that one all the way down to the other side of the field. We saw some of this yesterday as well, uh, I believe it was yesterday, maybe two days ago as Planet Express just did debut this uh, this week, but either way, they've been showing some nice plays. There's a good save, look at that from Ice. That was uh, icy hot there on the, the shot save. Okay, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, you didn't see it, but I just shimmied right now. <laughs> uh, Sonic takes this disc right back out. The defense kind of spreading out into a, sort of a zone of sorts and actually does get the disc for Ice here. So Ice, very nice. He's going to go for a pass as a defense all collapses on him. Two different players. And will be a numbers situation not actually favoring uh, Palador fan club. So a little ambitious on that one. And it will result in the turnover here to Planet Express. I didn't see it feel the same Palador fan club. I heard you say the old one. Yeah, it, 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 it's a feeling, uh, but it, getting the clear here, Sonic Roland goes to the ramp on the other side. And collecting that back is Jammerin, though, and another deep one will roll off. But there's a goalie back there. Uh, it's a cross-check playing inside the goal, so uh, no harm done. Yeah. And right back to fire. That's one thing you see from these newer teams. I noticed Alduin doing it a lot when... Uh... When he was uh, when he was uh, back over, I believe on a, on Olympus, he doesn't do it as much now. But that perma goalie kind of play um, coming in, so you gotta watch these half court shots going in against these teams because they will more than likely always have a goalie back there. Um, but Fire Ninja looking to bring one in, but uh, Fan Club gonna be able to start him out now. Jammerin getting that one reset over to Heck and Heck now. We can get something done, but Fire Ninja again coming in with a stun as you see an open goal. It's gonna be a little bit wide there though, so Ice now back here to recover this one as he gets this one down over. And to the other side. They're kind of fading in and out for me again, I'm sorry to say. But oh. in any case, Fire Ninja going for that clear play. And, and you are right, though, on, uh, as this rebound shot goes in from Lulz. You, you do see, not at that time, but you do see the perma goalies at times. And I think that's uh, just one of those, again, when you have new teams, it's something that they, they do learn to uh, eventually expand out of a bit. Uh, I am impressed with a lot of these new teams. Their passing play, their defense is, is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, over time, once they get more you know, experience under their belts, you're going to see them start uh, rolling out there and moving that, that goalie into the midline, if nothing else. Definitely a good thing to practice uh, instead of having a, a goalie playing permanently back while you know, uh, 80 meters away, the rest of the play is taking place. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but I might go ahead and take my five minute now before cross check gets a score. But oh, it's just passes it right back into his own goal. But uh, I might take my uh, my technical timeout to uh, restart my internet. All right, well you go for it, buddy, and let me know when you're back. Uh, so apologies for that as caption goes and takes care of maybe an issue as that one. Well, no issue on the shot from Sonic Roland. A good look from right above. So nine to zero, Planet Express, kind of uh, putting a hurting on my fan club right now. 
Gonna hurt a bit. But uh, we're gonna stay objective here. Uh, now the Palador fan club. So they, they're formerly known as, well initially, Team Catalyst is uh, what they were known as, debuting a few weeks ago. Uh, then they changed their name to 1.8288 uh, meters over, which translates over to six foot over. And then as of this week, they changed their name to Palador Fan Club, because why not? Uh, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a running theme every week. Going to get a different name. Uh, definitely a, well, kind of like their logo says, Palador be quirky, though. Well, this team be a little bit quirky, though. Definitely uh, not a dull moment when you're dealing with a Cam Jam team. Uh, but that will be nine points and the first round victory to Planet Express here on the blue side. So see uh, how the fan club responds. Maybe they'll respond with some fan mail. <laughs> fan mail slots. There you go. But uh, we'll roam over here then to the highlight screen. Take a look a little bit on what these two teams did have to offer in that first. And... Uh, yeah, it will be Lulz of the best with four points, one assist, three saves, nine stuns, and Sonic Roland, the other scorer for Planet Express, five points, one save, seven stuns. Uh, in the meantime, we have Fire Ninja with one assist, 16 stuns, and Crosscheck, 42, with two saves, seven stuns, uh, playing that back line. For PFC, Palador Fan Club, as I look at myself in the stream on that logo, oh dear. Uh, Hecken coming away with one save, two stuns. Jammerin with two saves, uh, one steal, 19 stuns. Echo Aiden with one save, one steal, 11 stuns. And Ice with two saves, 16 stuns. Round starting in. A VTS King over in the chat saying, I have this fat check. Should I write it out to Palador or what? Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> don't do that. I don't want your money. I just, I just want the love, or something like that. I don't know. Either way, hello VTS. Welcome to the stream. Uh, look at that delayed joust coming out from Aiden. So actually, does take the, the disc right back for uh, the PFC. That said, lulls are the best. There he is yet again, with his hands on the disc. But Ice still getting that back. A nice pass to Aiden. Aiden goes in, but will be saved out there. Denied. Body checked by cross checked. And uh, over to Lulz again as he gets the clear. Very nice uh, work there defensively for Planet Express. Putting in the defense, putting in the offense, and looking to have a, maybe a victory here. This would be their first on the season, so let's see if they can get it through uh, with some nice passing plays. Just trying for a soft one, a little underneath the hands, but Lulz will be able to collect that just briefly enough to back tap it out. Nice awareness, uh, but didn't find the teammate on the connection, so we'll, we'll roll outside the bubble as Hecken takes it away. And I see Caption has rejoined. I'll throw it over on Atlas for a moment, although maybe you can say hi and we'll experiment here a little bit. How's it going? <laughs> hi, experimentation. Am I robotic? Uh, for now, you're good. So after this next goal, I'll put it back up for you uh, if that's cool. As Echo will go over to uh, the back pass, or, or the forward pass, rather, to Jamarin. Checking behind him, the stack a little bit delayed briefly, but now uh, will encroach. So there goes the pass. Again, some good mid lane defense coming in from... Uh, Planet Express was Sonic out there as well as Lulz are the best. Now, Sonic yesterday had himself a great game. Uh, he put up something like 9, 10 points uh, for his uh, team uh, last time around, and it just really impressed. He had some uh, three-point shots in there, some great defense. Uh, almost had kind of a, a comeback win, if I recall correctly, in that second round because of it. So doing some good work as El Pass goes into the bubble here. Jammerin taking it in, but denied. Cross check again with a save. That's twice in just the last uh, couple minutes here of this uh, round two. Or should I say the first couple minutes of this round two. And But the shot, oh, will be off for Planet Express. So we remain scoreless here as uh, I go off to the pocket and actually host it for Caption. Really quickly, and the shot going off the backboard, and wow, hitting it, it's ice from way deep, 36 meters, and just slowly off the backboard. That was a nice hit there for him. And a close for you, too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh caption. Oh no. It's uh, 
It's one of those those in and out things. Maybe you're gonna have to do some uh, emoji casting from Twitch, or maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. It's unfortunate because none of this was happening uh, before the stream or in our last stream. So it's kind of an all sudden, all of a sudden thing. So apologies for that. Uh, tried to address that, but nonetheless, it will be uh, into the mid lane. Jammer taking the disc away. Uh, PFC up the first three points and trying to uh, dish it out. Uh, gets the pass actually to Aiden going deep into the uh, bubble and just taken out by crosscheck again, playing that back line. So into the mid lane now. Uh, taking it here is a jammer and again. Another pass up deep in the forward area of the bubble. No one quite recovering yet. Uh, and then slapped by Lulz into the ramp. So a lot of scrambled play here, disarray. And a lot of fights and scrums, as I think Caption likes to say from time to time. <laughs> and uh, I like that word just by the by. As Jammerin goes in, swirls around, and finds the goal. Five points for PFC. Robot check. Robot check. Uh, Semi-robot. Here, let's quickly switch to the other channel just because. See if that works. I don't know. Robot check. Robot check. Uh, yep, still very much a robot. Alas. I know, me too. Uh, well, lows are the best. We'll get this disc into uh, the hands of Sonic Roland. Roland uh, dishing that one out to the corner pocket. Now, uh, for both of these teams, again, some uh, definitely some scrambled play at the moment. If they can slow it down just like this for Planet Express, uh, They'll be they'll be good to uh, score some more here, but just at the moment a little bit of miscommunication, so kind of leaving the anchors a little early and uh, you know not getting those those passes off quite as cleanly as they did in round one. So they're down by five. PFC having a much better second round and seeing if they can stick to it and keep this lead. Uh, now a cross pass over to Ice and oh Ice again cross check. That is the third save in round two for cross check. Just beautifully done to get yet another one and denying over and over inside the goal so beautiful job there you gotta love the defense uh, defensive play like kind of like a caption was mentioning a little bit earlier you know have a, some of these new players showing off that great defense and guys like like Alduin mentioned how good he is at the goal well cross check here uh, he's kind of showing his stuff and really starting to impress on the goalkeeping end as well so uh, much respect there. Got to shout it out as that one goes. Oh, very close to the goal. That was almost a really nice shot there. Uh, but still couldn't get it. And oh boy, that one just the same. Rebounded here for Ice and Palador Fan Club. I can't say that without chuckling a little bit. But Palador Fan Club with seven points in round two. Four minutes left. But a good rebound there. Getting them the... Extra attempt and the extra few points. So on this rollout, Sonic Roland gets that disc over to Lulz and then over to Fire Ninja. So good uh, short rollout at the midline. Just being patient with it, but then on the what would have been the next pass, uh, just getting denied a bit. Had nowhere to go with it. So causing a turnover. Ice now. A bounce shot, perhaps, but will be rebounded by Lulz. And now Ice taking the disc right back. Uh, for Palador Fan Club. 322 left in round one. Or round two, rather. And could be looking at that third round if they uh, hold on to this lead. But so far, a definite turnaround because that, that first game, I mean, it was nine points, uh, Planet Express, and... PFC couldn't even uh, couldn't find a goal, but this time, like PFC, they're rocking with nine points. So much better turnaround for them here. So Crosscheck uh, gets this first rollout here again on offense, a little bit of jank there but it's okay as it goes off the wall uh, taken back by Lulz perhaps actually no just gonna contest but Aiden is there first another slap clear 
And Planet Express going for another pass. Uh, back down low, a good hit on the pass, but the connection on the goal, not quite the same results. Off the backboard, same thing there, having to rush the shot a little bit because of the defense uh, from uh, PFC right up on it. Sonic Roland takes that shot, but taken out by Hecken. Doing his best cross-check impression uh, for the save. And now maybe getting a clear, getting the boost, and finding themselves a goal. Briefly covered, but lulls are the best. All up in there with a pile-up. Dog pile forming. Oh, six different players, I think, at least. All up in that uh, pile. A good pass will result in a good stun, though. A save uh, right there from cross-check, but it was predicated off a stun uh, from one of the Planet Express players. Couldn't quite tell who it was. It was just so uh, cluttered up there. But a very nice defense from Planet Express. But Palador Fan Club getting right back into the pocket. So Hecken now with the disc. One minute, 30 seconds remaining, and it's looking like a, a sure victory, especially with that icy shot from Ice again. Assist to Hecken. So the passing now for PFC is starting to pay off uh, huge. Much like in the first round, it was uh, really a lot of Planet Express getting those passes, but just a, a flip-flop just about in round two as it... We get uh, almost inverse score here. 11 points now, though, for PFC. Planet Express still not on the scoreboard, so we're going to have to see if they can work it up the floor and get some of that offense going. But again, just being denied uh, seemingly over and over. So definite shift in momentum as uh, the stacks get back into the blue side for Planet Express. They're going to be able to get this one with a couple seconds to spare, but only a couple because there's PFC right up in it and looking to uh, come back on the defensive end. So Fire Ninja losing the disc here, uh, getting it right back though is Sonic. Sonic has a couple available options, uh, but now cut off again. So I uh, had some back pass options, didn't quite go for it there. And again, that's one of those things that teams that just kind of learn with time, especially the newer teams and, and such, just uh, backing it out and just playing it patiently. I, I know at this kind of a juncture, Planet Express can't uh, afford patient play necessarily. Uh, but just just in general. So that is the second round. And again, a flip-flop from the first. It's 11-0 to favoring PFC this time. So with that, we'll head off here to the stats screen and see what we got going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, just uh, almost an inverse between these two teams. It, it was just a strong turnaround uh, in this round for PFC. It was ice starting to heat up, uh, funnily enough. But uh, yeah, ice was hot. It's not only the seven points, but four saves. That is a big a defensive effort along with 34 stuns which is just one away from the match high so ice definitely uh, putting up some huge numbers for his team on on all categories really and meanwhile echo uh, aiden with two points one save 17 stuns as uh, well as a steal for jammerin two points one assist two saves four steals and 35 stuns so talk about piling up stats that's a huge stat line for him as well and then hecken coming through with two assists four saves and eight stuns. Unfortunately for Planet Express in the second round, could not get the points going, so just kind of stuck on the, the same totals there that they were to end round one. See if that changes here going into the third, though. All right, so as the launch goes out again, this time it will be Sonic rolling first. See if they can keep that, that that steady mentality and maybe come back with a much stronger third round. Get some more of that passing play. Uh, looking for the pass there, but we're just cut off a bit by the defense. And then in the back line, taken by Lull. So he's going to dodge through. A good quick pass up ahead. And uh, again, starting to uh, forward pass into the goal. And those are the, the kind of things, like the passes. Are, I'm glad they're looking for them as uh, Jamron gets it. But just as kind of the... I suppose, you know, a little, little coach critique type, uh, type of thing is uh, keeping in mind for newer players, you, you definitely don't need to always forward pass. Uh, if there's numbers in the defense's advantage, uh, you can be okay with just backing it out. You know, have back passes available. Go to the back passes and the resets frequently. Uh, definitely noticing the, 
you know, the experienced uh, teams especially, they will go for those over and over until they can roll into goal. But if they don't have the numbers inside goal, definitely don't need to push it up uh, all the time. Because yeah, those are the things that will get you in trouble based off of, you know, the lanes being cut off and then people diving out at you. So if you back pass it, back pass it, be patient with it and kind of drag out the defense before pushing forward into the bubble, uh, you'll definitely get a lot more clean looks at not, not only passes, but also the shot attempts. As that, oh, that's gonna go in for Fire Ninja. I was wondering, and indeed it will go in. 59 meters out, uh, taking the perfect bounce right off the top, and it will drop for Planet Express. You heard of the orbital drop for Team Orbit. How about the planetary drop? for Fire Ninja and Planet Express. What a hot shot that was. Intentional or not, put it in the uh, right place. So uh, it will be the first few points going in their favor. And as a result, TFC now playing from a, p a position of being behind. And now a deep shot going off will just hit that side wall. The thing is, when you hit those corners over here, that still gives it a decent chance of uh, going in sometimes. So. Just uh, doing what they need to do. There's the pass uh, going forward, and you can kind of see they're pressing forward. The numbers are going to be tough, but oh, just weaves through all the defense, but Hecken nice rejects it. Thank what a ninja. great save there. Uh, that was a very risky dive, and yet it was almost uh, something that worked out for Planet or for uh, for uh, Planet Express. Excuse me, but either or, Planet Express playing some good defense here. And a, a deep shot from just outside of that edge of the bubble will be taken back by uh, Fire Ninja. Needs to clear, and he does. Now turning around immediately for the boost. So you gotta love that awareness. Uh, there's a secondary stack just overshooting, so that's going to be a tough miss. And right back to Jamarin over at the mid lane. Now Fire Ninja over by the Rad logo, uh, along with the Lulz, both of them trying to collect that disc, but beginning. A tad in disarray as the pileups form there, and Jamrin with a quick uh, short range boost with Aiden to get the disc back. But right back to cross check. It's just a complete hot potato play at the moment. Uh, possession changing over and over for both these teams as that one goes just beneath the goal and taken by Ice. Now, Ice was on fire in the second round, and he'll continue his streak here in the third with that two point shot uh, with just a nice efficiency off the backboard placement. So on this rollout, cross check. Gets uh, that pass over, a couple different players, corner to corner, you gotta love those zipper passes, as I like to call them, just corner to corner, zipping it up across the floor in quick succession. That said, uh, Jamrin gets the steal, gets the clear, but first on the boost back, we'll see, it's going to be, it looks like Fire Ninja, as uh, the defense actually for PFC opting to stay back and just anchor to the Geo instead. So there's the back pass that you like to see going forward. And just kind of working it up the floor, uh, you know, slowly if they can, just trying not to be taken off guard by the defense. But right now, just two defenders for uh, Palador Fan Club, actually bothering four offensive players for Planet Express. So, really, if if, if Jamarin and Ice can continue to bother as much as they are, that's going to be nice for them. You can see the other teammates for PFC way in the back, just kind of watching it all unfold. Uh, not having to do too much as of yet. Uh, there's some stuns attempting to go off as the stat comes in. The boosted uh, Ice but doesn't get the disc, so clear goes through again. So once more, back to the opposite side. This time, Palador, defense, <laughs> Palador Fan Club's defense having to play up a tad bit to get the clear, but back to cross-check. So five minutes left, this is the third round. All, uh, all evened up after the first two in what was just a complete inversion of play. It was nine to zero in round one for Planet, and then round two was 11 to zero for PFC. But at the moment, kind of a mix of the two as uh, this shot does not go through. Hecken, yet another rejection at the goal. Uh, he's had many of them. That has to be his fifth or sixth maybe at this point. As far as stats are go uh, go along as Jamron just misses that. We'll take a look real quick as well just because I'm curious. And yes, yeah, six saves for Hecken. But there really a lot of saves coming in from multiple players on these teams. Uh, Crosscheck, for instance, over in round one and two, he had a, a really healthy serving of the save after save for a while to open up that second round especially. Now, good boost will maybe get themselves an open goal, but also can't convert on that one. 
tough miss for Planet Express, but they do get the rebound, and Lulz with the best comes away with it, finds a nest pass, gets that one-on-one -on -one opportunity, oh, but doesn't convert the shot. Still might get his own rebound, but is punched out in the process as Fire Ninja over on the sidewall, gets it right back. Another pass here, they have another nest pass, but gonna go in from the top, and it's Hecken again! He is absolutely dominating now in this third round on defense. Huge saves to just save his team, perhaps, and keep them in the game, because they are down by one, and with a 3.36 remaining, every single one of these saves are just going to be absolutely crucial for Palador Fan Club, if they want to come back and win this. Of course, that, that does, uh, you know, predicate on the fact that they score here, because they are really struggling to score, but granted, both of these teams definitely playing uh, some intense and aggressive defense. And it's resulting in a lot of these stray clears being taken right back. So, at the moment, again, every single save and every single goal are going to matter tremendously in what is a low-scoring third round. Now, just about evened up for all, all intents and purposes. Neither team willing to really budge or give an inch. That, again, what did I say? Cross-check! Now making the play. So the... Defensive rebuttal inside goal. You have Crosscheck, you have Hecken, and they are just going head to head and seeing maybe who the better defender is, but both of them uh, with some stellar grabs over and over, all even and long so far. As that one just goes right into the other side, it'll be taken back, back and forth. That is Fire Ninja trying to contest that one and gets a clear. Will it be intercepted? No. So again, it'll go to the opposite side. Again, the stacks will come on through. Ice. Quite nice. That's a one-point lead. Good leeches, good stuns, and Ice uh, mentioned his uh, fire on offense. Look at that. 11 points here in the third round uh, across the series so far. So, final two minutes. It's crunch time now. Both these teams about to buckle down, hunker down, and see if they can come ahead in the clutch. Uh, every single play, as I say, and Hecken gets it stunned, taken away, but Aiden, the clear. Back to the midline it goes. Three different players piling up uh, in the midline while uh, Sonic rolling over there by the bow tie just uh, doles out some punches. Now all of them rolling out here. It's going to be very tough getting through there, and uh, they'll just dive out on them. So the defense for Palador fan club Paying dividends, collapsing on it. Echo Aiden uh, getting stuck up on the uh, Geo for just a little bit up on the cloud. Back to Jamron. Jamron gets stunned. One minute left and a one point lead for PFC. Still attempting to get clears though for Planet Express. And at this point, I'd be curious to see if they try and play the clock or they're just going to play it uh, aggressively and maybe too aggressively there. So clearing right into the hands of the defense. Uh, definitely at this point for PFC, the clock is on their side, the score is on their side. So don't have to be overly aggressive on some of those forward passes. Because uh, now, Planet Express does have a chance if they can connect on the pre uh, precision passes here like they were in the earlier rounds. But uh, again, the defense for Palador Fan Club definitely bothering them quite a bit and causing some of these turnovers and these straight clears. So there's a take from Fire Ninja. Needs to get rid of that again. Uh, unable to do so. So 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds remaining as it floats into the pocket. A pileup beginning the form. Sonic with some more punches. Stuns out two. So if he can hold back these defenders, uh, might get themselves the angle and the numbers advantage here as a nest pass goes up high and the shot gets by. It's Planet Express. Fire Ninja assisted by Lulz. And that's a game win in round three for Planet. Coming through in the absolute clutch and what an ending that was. The Planet Express, the victory. And uh, on that note, their first victory, <laughs> as they let out some war cries, their first victory of the season, uh, debuting this week and going 0-2 initially, but now will close out their first week with their first win off a huge, huge play. And uh, players are happy, and I'm happy for them, despite the fact that they just broke apart my fan club. <laughs> so part of me wants to say, how dare they? But part of me also wants to say, congrats on that. That was a very clutch win off of, again, the concentration. You gotta love the fact that they, uh, in a moment where panic could have been so real and they could have thrown that disc away a couple times in that bubble, what did they do? They were patient.
You know, they look for the pass, and that, that extra pass and that calmness, despite all the chaos, is what got them the win. So you got to love it. And, uh, yeah, well, there you have it. Try and pull up the stats. Uh, some players left in the game, so I'll have to pull up my screen view here on my monitor. And, uh, yeah, will be, again, that uh, shot fire at the end. Assisted by Lulz, I do believe. And, yeah, fire with five points, one assist, two saves, 37 stuns. L uh, Lulz are the best with four points, two assists, four saves, two steals, 35 stuns. Sonic with five points, two saves, uh, one steal, 34 stuns. And then cross-check, no points, but nine saves. And that is a huge number uh, at any level, much less uh, for a, a newer player. Uh, to competitive play very impressive and 17 stuns as well over on the opposite side It was ice who was just uh, absolutely on target uh, Hitting every shot it seemed that he attempted just about 11 points four saves one steal 50 stuns Huge numbers for him Aiden with two points one save one steal 25 stuns Jammerin two points one assist two saves six steals and 47 stuns That, that is just uh, that's a huge amount of brawling <laughs> for their team, but uh, Hecken then with a uh, two assist seven saves also very very impressive and 14 stuns so Yeah, uh, very impressive stuff all around good passing ending the game there, and uh, that's how you got to do it sometimes Now uh, that being said here we got another game actually coming up right away as I briefly forgot sorry I got all excited because of the play so we're gonna go to a quick trend uh, um, Intermission, not transmission, an intermission, and we'll be back with Space Force versus Chaos.
All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to this stream. Just as we get started in uh, just no time at all, as we get Space Force uh, versus Chaos, as I'm noticing their teams are switched up, so we'll just take care of that real quick. And there we go. As uh, Farafo comes out with a disc and up to the top pocket. Had to start this one off really quick just because uh, a little behind schedule, so appreciate these teams waiting and getting streamed as that shot just careens off the bottom of the post. Back into the midline where uh, Mamba takes it over. So Mamba getting it to Cakester. Cakester for Chaos hitting Dano. And Mamba the other side. Gotta love the spacing, the positioning here. Question is, can they find the pass? That was very tightly woven through the defense. But who else but Anime, who's been uh, really uh, putting up huge saves as of late and pressing in the goal-keeping end of things. So a, a good grab there from Anime. However, Chaos getting right back on the offensive line and finding it there with some strength behind that shot. Uh, Dominant display from Farafo. So, couple points. First, favoring Chaos. Six, five, four, so, on the casting booth by the by, uh, this is Palador. Uh, I was supposed to be joined by Caption, but unfortunately, Caption was having some uh, internet issues and seemed like we couldn't get it fixed uh, or addressed. And could have been Discord as well. I'm honestly not too sure. But either way, uh, Unfortunately, he couldn't join me, so sad day. Always does a great job whenever Caption's casting. Uh, but nonetheless, we will carry on here and uh, keep on trucking forward as the stack goes forward. Be contested uh, by Mamba. Mamba, the newer member here on the roster. And he finds the goal. It's a four-point lead. Chaos now. Mamba most recently being rostered as kind of an alternate there on Infinite. And... But now, uh, as of late, Six, member of Chaos. Five, four, Mamba enjoying himself a little Chaos. Two, so Lanzan rolling on through. Uh, Arrow Knight just trying to find that passing lane, but will be cut off as the pileup forms over on the bottom. Mamba hitting Dano from down below. You see uh, three different members kind of on the floor area in a triangle. Farafo hooking that one in as well. Looked like a near save there. Disc turning just blue at the very end. But Farafo powers it through again and that one assisted by Dano. And uh, yeah, four points. Four out of the six points coming from Farafo in this first round. And for those joining in right now, this is our second match of uh, the second stream. You might notice the title. Sunday matches NA part two. So indeed, we have uh, two different streams with three games apiece. So uh, heading into the kind of the final stretch of this final day of week nine. Uh, this match again between Chaos and Space Force, and then after that we have a uh, reboot and Boosty Boys that we uh, do want to stream. Hopefully, it's scheduled to start in 15 minutes from now. Maybe a bit delayed. So we'll see, uh, hopefully we'll get into that match with some, not too much time off the clock, but do our best. But either way, happy to end this uh, end this night with a couple of uh, great games. Maybe some round threes involved, because we already saw one in that last series with Planet Express versus Palador Fan Club. And it was Planet Express with a big uh, w game winner at the very end. As a shot goes through, but actually just off the mark for Space Force. Missed opportunity there. Lanzan getting a bit hurt there on the sidewall. As a Cakester lines up that shot, will be a bit high as Enders and uh, Lanzan just roll by. Couldn't get the collection. But yeah, that, that match just moments ago between uh, Palador Fan Club and Planet Express in their debut week. Planet Express on that uh, challenge match is what it was. Does get the win. And it was a very entertaining three-round game ending uh, with a game winner. At the end of round three, in fact, from a Fire Ninja. Moves to orange team. If I am correct, if I'm not, big oops. Uh, but yeah, it was just a big play uh, going for a Ness pass at the time. and It was a really nice job, just especially from a newer team, to have that kind of calmness in a very clutch moment like that. So over here will be Mamba with a nice pass down for an open goal to Farafo. Looked like Anime uh, had tried diving on the disc, but just slightly misread the trajectory. 
And that, that resulted in the open goal conceded for Farafo. So Farafo now six out of the eight points for Chaos in this opening round. The other two points coming from Mamba, who uh, assisted Farafo that time. And Lulz are the best over there, confirming that Fire Ninja is, is indeed God. And that was a really nice uh, ending to that game. It was fun to watch, so congrats on that win. Now Meatballer also in, there, in the chat, giving some froggers, apparently. Not a poggers, but a froggers as Ender's Lot looks for the pass over to the side wall. Doesn't get there. And uh, will be taken right back off of some good stuns from Mamba. Gets a clear. Now that shot, that clear, almost turning into a shot, I should say. Farafo, who's been the hot hand in round one for Chaos, looking for a good pass instead. And oh, good nice. save! Arrow Knight! Good stuff there as Farafo actually off the head. Oh, another one! Anime for life! The headbutt! What a play! What a double play! A double save and anime for life! He's coming to life on defense, on, on the defense right now. And I've said this now all week since last week. I don't know what's gotten into him or when this unfolded, but he, I've only known him as a good striker and a great passer over the years. When I used to play with him a lot in 2017 in pubs, I did not know he was this great of a goalie. But, oh man, all week long, he has been doing that over and over with save after save. So it is definitely not a mistake or a fluke. Uh, anime is legit at goal. <laughs> and I'm impressed, so gotta love that. Arrow Knight's going for a pass here over to the aforementioned anime. I told you, I already know he's a striker, but I already know he's a passer! And there he goes! Now that is much more conventional anime for life, assisting Lanzan. But anime all over, his, his name stamped all over that entire play, end to end. So on this launch, Cakester for Chaos, uh, the first offensive launch of this round. Space Force may be in position to get this back. Let's see. Uh, that Arrow Knight up there couldn't get the handles. But uh, Mamba will. So Mamba backlining it to Cakester. Cakester to Dano. And Dano on the side again. So uh, good passing. Gotta love it. To the nest. But cut off nicely from Ender's Lot. So a clear, not quite through. Ender's gonna still be in that general area to maybe get it back and uh, forcing that quick clear again as some punches go out in the back line once more. The stack uh, boosted player there, Mamba getting there first and the secondary stack approaching not too far behind. But uh, yeah, the change of possessions just frequent right now towards the end of this first round. Uh, Chaos, if they do get control, want to keep it. And more than anything else, as I often do mention towards the end of these rounds when you have a, a couple goals lead at least, do not give up a three. That is going to be priority A, B, C, one, two, three uh, for Space Force, or for Chaos, rather, against Space Force, not conceding a three-point shot. Uh, if they can deny that at least, they should be good for the first round win. Uh, and this, what is a challenge match, by the way, so this also was a challenge. I'm not sure who issued it to who. But uh, both teams agreeing upon it. Both teams uh, feeling confident that they could win. So let's see which team was right as we keep going into this night. Final night of week nine. Speaking of knights, there's Arrow Knight and Lanzan attached, redirecting, and uh, will get the disc back. Oh, maybe not. Just missed grab on the Geo, but finally Arrow comes away with it. So he'll have himself an angle at a momentarily open goal, but no option there except maybe a, a bounce shot potentially at first. But either way, definitely a tough one to make if you're not well practiced at it. So just going to go for the pass instead, just off up to the top ramp and anime for life in the back line just past his hands as well. So some tough... Uh, Near misses there. For, again, for as great as anime life, for life's uh, hands have been inside the goal. Just missing that first one. But he does get it back. He does get the clear. And on the stack, trying to get there first is Lanzan as well as Ender. A nice uh, slot. Oh, and a shot. From that top slot, I should say. Slot shot. Not a male slot, but nonetheless. Uh, good one from Ender's just weaving it through. Somehow. Now, hold on a minute. That's a nine meter three. I've only seen that once before that I can recall. A nine or a nine meter two, I should say. Sorry. So highly unusual to see that, but uh, that is what it was. Uh, going in for one more shot though is Farafo to end this first round. 
10 to 4 favoring uh, Chaos here. So good first round. Only that uh, six point margin, they're differential. And we'll head off into the highlights and get a look at that for a moment as I uh, just take a quick moment to also rehydrate. So pardon me, but enjoy the highlights. All right, so back real quick. Probably with not a lot of time to read the highlights here, but high score for uh, Chaos was Farafo. Eight points out of the ten. Uh, two points for Mamba as well as a pair of assists, and then a couple assists for Dano, and ten stuns for Cakester. Over on Space Force's side, it was two points apiece to Lanzan and Enderslot. Uh, anime for life with one assist, two saves. Pretty sure he had more than that, in fact. I'm positive, but uh, two saves, 15 stuns. And Arrow Knight with two saves, 13 stuns. So with that said, it's going to be a round two starting off right now. Again, this is a challenge match, uh, meaning both teams feeling like they can come ahead with a win. So uh, round three, and I, I'm inclined to agree, round three hopefully going to be a possibility here. We'll see, though. Uh, as Farafo does get control back for Chaos here on orange side. So Farafo getting Dano. You can see the stuns of Cakester there doing kind of a good job to uh, delay three different players there for a little while. However, Chaos a bit slow to get back into the front line. So it gets a uh, shot off to Arrow Knight off the backboard, dinging off the side. Rebounded by Farafo. And Farafo, the wise reset to Mamba inside the goal. So Mamba now a bounce pass trying to reach the hands of his uh, teammate Cakester over there in the midfield. Does get to Dano instead and another back pass uh, from Chaos. And when Chaos does this, uh, they, they find some more success. You know, in recent weeks, I've definitely noticed that about Chaos in uh, the last two or three matches, including this one, as they go for a nice passing play and beautiful uh, cut, delivery, all of the above for two points here to open up round two. Uh, but yeah, I recognize this about Chaos in uh, their last couple matches where they're definitely starting to slow it down more and more than I, I'm used to seeing from Chaos. In fact, in one of the series they played recently, uh, they were almost resetting to an excessive degree. And I don't say that in a bad way. It's just something I noticed that they were really prioritizing backing it out, backing it out, backing it out. And if I re recall correctly... Uh, that, that bought them some uh, wins in the rounds. It was only when they got away from the frequent backouts that they started uh, giving up points and started losing uh, uh, some points here and there. So I think for Chaos, it's, it's just the progression of their team across the you know, the last couple months and across recent weeks. You know, adding in Mamba into the roster now, but there's just a, there's a lot of a uh, good progression from Chaos. And if they can find that consistency with it, they're going to get a lot of success and find a lot of su success going into the uh, latter half of this season as well as next season. Uh, right there, well, there's a seasoned veteran, Ender's Lot, with a, a great shot. 11 meters per second fading above, but uh, hit it calmly and had some time to do so. So three points here for... Enders and for Space Force, taking the one point lead in round two. Mamba that deep clear going over to Dano. Uh, Dano recovering, ducking, shooting, and two. Up by one now for Dano McFabulous. Nice recovery off of, well, what was a, a deep uh, clear. And yeah, got it, uh, got it off there. I mean, a timely duck at the very end, as you can see there in the highlight, the replay. And got them exactly what they were looking for. So Lanzan, a deep pass over uh, Arrow Knights, getting stunned. Not to his delights as Lanzan comes through with another deep pass into the upper ramp. Arrow Knights 
trying to play it patiently himself for a Space Force. But there's a pass down to Lanzan. And he's going to be uh, relatively uncovered for a while. Uh, but over on the barrier, two different players for Space Force and kind of being cut off there. So causing that disarray that we see from time to time. And Anime for Life just diving on through before the pass off. And another pass, quick succession. And no success on the shot though because Cakester with a save. Doing a bit of an anime impression of sorts, although no disrespect to Cakester at all because definitely a good defensive player just in his own right, you know, standalone. Uh, over here, all alone is Enders for a moment but loses the handles. Not sure what happened, if he crashed or what. Uh, apparently not. Just, just kind of letting go of the disc there and contesting a few different players approaching him. So pass slightly off, taken back. Cakester has it taken back again. Lands in this time looking for a clear and looking for the boost. Uh, couldn't get the grab initially, so Cakester for Chaos will get there first. So again, some back and forth play. Uh, the spacing right here, just very tight. And when teams do cluster up like this, uh, definitely becomes tough to get any passes off. So you definitely want to see uh, these teams, you know, instead of piling it up, just rely on one person to uh, go for the disc. Whether he gets it or not, it's kind of irrelevant. For the rest of the players, they should should be spacing out there uh, and uh, just looking for the passing lanes. But yeah, when those big dog piles form up, all it results is uh, pretty much indefinite clear and boost uh, because no one's available for open passes. So definitely want to see the, the spacing, as I mentioned. And here, they're trying to find it. So Chaos spacing out in a bit of a triangle here in the front line and uh, now turning into another triangle with a different player involved, but diving out is Anime. And I really like that dive from Anime because you see it was kind of a tough angle on that approach off that pass. And uh, sometimes it's a good thing for goalies instead of just sitting in the goal and never diving. Uh, if that offensive player is about to receive the pass from a, a tough angle, just dive out at him. Give him no time at all to get the shot off or get a clear off for that matter. Now Arrow Knight, a tough anchor shot, will be slightly astray. Meanwhile, over in the wedge, uh, another anchor shot. <laughs> that one will not be astray. It gets the bottom of the goal painted, and it's a two-point lead for Space Force. Four minutes left in round two. Now, I know I'm a, a bit delayed, uh, on this one, addressing Twitch chat real quick and Meatballer if you're still there. Bit delayed, or you can say I'm kind of lagging behind. <laughs> uh, but what what is that even? What is the lag thing? I've seen that a bunch of times in the last couple of weeks. No idea what it means, but going in for a shot is Mamba. Snaking on through. You gotta love it. Six apiece for both these teams all tied up. So no leg being shown on that shot. And Joust Advantage going back to Space Force. So duck through move from Lanzan. Didn't really uh, get it through on that clear. That pass either way will be recovered by Anime. But he's going to be approached by Mamba from behind and stunned. So hoping to get this cleared out. Mamba as well getting stunned. Again, another one of those pileups. And uh, that's what I mean. See, the, the moment someone is going to be on that disc, the other four players should be spaced out and just calming, uh, saying, you know, I'm on nest, I'm on goal, or uh, something like that. Because when the pileups form and there's no available passes, it's just going to be clear and boost uh, for days, which just basically turns it into a 50-50 from either team uh, in both cases. If you do give the comms, it suddenly turns that 50-50 ball, that 50-50 disc, into uh, more like a 80-20. You know, just depending on pass execution. But uh, that's definitely a, one, one big piece of advice I could give to uh, a lot of teams in general is just... Uh, there's rarely a reason to pile up, you know, three, four, five, six players all in one spot. It should just be, let the nearest person on your team who, to that disc, let the nearest person collapse on it. Uh, the rest of the players just space out. Uh, prepare for a, a boost, maybe? Or just space out as shooting out, lights out, Cakester up by three for Chaos. Oh, what a shot that was off the bounce. And Chaos here pulling ahead. Less than two minutes left. They already won that first round. A 10-4. to four. So if they can hold on here and stave off any goals, especially any three-point plays, 
uh, from Space Force. With this amount of time left, that may very well be in Chaos's favor. Uh, that said, Arrow Knight, oh, couldn't get the shot, maybe a rebound, and then we'll hit it on the second attempt and just squeezes through the three on the eight meter edge. It's tied up right back again. And uh, as I mentioned there for, uh, for Chaos, Last thing that they wanted, especially with that amount of time remaining, is to give up the three-point play. So playing maybe a little too aggressive there and trying to roll out and make up for it here. Still a minute, 15 seconds left, so they can make a play uh, absolutely and go ahead once again as they just dodged through that s initial stack. But there they go again for Space Force, looking good on the speed and on the recovery. Ender's lot. So Ender's getting a clear. And it's going to be very important. Where is that stack here for a Space Force? Going to be another open goal, but dinging off that post again. So trying to recover down low with 50 seconds remaining. It's going to be a good pass over here. A great save, though, from Farafo, the hero, and keeping the game all tied up. So now deep into the other side, Cakester, if he can get his handles on it, and a stun instead from Arrow Knight denies. Grumpiest Bruma over in the chat saying who round, oh, who won round one? That was a uh, chaos. You can see, uh, assuming you're not Black Street right now. Exactly. But yeah, you can see that that uh, by the scoreboard, by that nine points, you see the little dot. Uh, that, that's kind of a score indicator on who won the first round. Uh, you can see that dot next to KS's name. That said, a big punch coming in from Cakester. So, OT, it looks like it shall be. I mean, we'll see. There's going to be a boost in here, so maybe I'm about to eat my words as that one goes off the corner. Only a couple seconds. Will they get the shots? Oh, they do, and it's a game winner there at the very end for Cakester. And Chaos winning it with no time remaining. Wow, what a finish. Oh, wow, huge plays. Four days, and I thought we were about to see an OT, maybe even a round three, uh, but just missing out on that. But you know, you can't, from a spectator's perspective, can't complain too much because that was just a hot uh, finish. Uh, entertaining as anything. Uh, very tough there for, for Space Force. Uh, barely missing out on forcing that round three victory. So nonetheless, that was a good match. I mean, kept it close. 10-4 to four in round one, 12-9 to nine in round two. And uh, yeah, doing what they needed to do to just keep it close. You can see why these teams challenge each other because they both believe that they could win. And I mean, we had one or two plays go differently. It could have easily been a, a victory as well for Space Force or a round three if nothing else. So uh, credit to Chaos though in the clutch there with that last second shot. All right, now for the meantime, we do have another match coming up right quickly, right away. Uh, I do believe anyway. We'll see if it's hosted for us. So uh, I will leave this stat screen up for you here as I kind of reorganize myself. We'll hit a quick intermission and then be back with our uh, final match of the night between Reboot and Boosty Boys. So stay tuned.
Well, hello everybody. Welcome one final time of week nine. We've got a, we've got a match, but more than a match. You know what else we've got? This guy. Look at him, in all his glory. Flaunting his plumage. And looking very regal. This guy, this guy's name is Delusion. And he's a player from way back in the day, making a return. I haven't seen him for, must have one or two years. It's been a while. And yet here he is, Delusion, a formerly of Team Solace. Way, way back in 2017, 2018 days. It's been a long time coming, and I'm glad to see Delusion back and here playing for Reboot as the first joust goes underway. So we'll see what happens here uh, as a shot with no fear. White Fox, white hot. Three points to start it off for Boosty Boys. So for those joining me here again, one more time, I'm Palador. Uh, thanks for joining uh, in the Twitch chat all night long. We've had a lot of matches in the after afternoon and evening time. A lot of different casters contributing and a lot of teams uh, making with some great highlights. I mean, we just finished off a match uh, with Chaos and Space Force that ended with uh, a fantastic game-winning shot. And that was following another match just an, over an hour ago uh, between Planet Express and uh, Palador Fan Club that also ended on a game winner and that went to three rounds. I mean, I say it every week and it seems like it's uncanny as they go for a save White Fox. So he has the offense, he has the defense and making some nice plays is White Fox uh, getting a clear as well. Why not? But yeah, I say it a lot. It seems like on Sundays for some reason, uh, there's a lot, especially towards the end of the night. It's uh, this weird thing where we just get a lot of these exciting finishes, round threes, overtimes, things like that. Uh, happens quite a bit. At the moment, Boosty Boys going for their play. Passing play couldn't get it past uh, to anyone's hands as it gets slung out of there. White Fox getting stunned by Neon and uh, Delusion here contesting on the side. Got to go back to, to Delusion for a moment because, again, he was a hot player, good player. Going in for a shot, though, on his team is Dragon King. Against this team, I should say. So, uh, reboot there. Being scored on by Dragon, and that was a nice hit there. But yeah, Delusion was a, a really, really good player back in the day. So I'm, I'm super curious. This is like a, the, the day of returns over on the European side of things. We got the return of a Team Gravity. Granted, they'd only been out of the game for about five weeks or so, five or six weeks, so not too long. Uh, but, but yeah, seeing a return of that veteran team as a shot goes out and just dinging. White Fox couldn't hit that one despite his uh, earlier success. But yeah, I do kind of wonder what we're going to see from Delusion here. If there's going to be some rust involved. I don't know how much he's been playing uh, since he's gotten back in the game. How much he's scrimmed. Or for that matter, if he's even done 4v4 yet. Uh, a nice pass, though, to Dragon King. And Boosty Boys. Coming in really hot with some of these passes. That was a, a, a mighty quick one. Leading to a great-looking goal. So Boosty Boys. Now they've been uh, playing for a few weeks now. This is uh, their fourth week. They're one and six on the season, but very well could be looking at a, uh, you know, their their second win of uh, season one if uh, this trend continues. Because at the moment, uh, Boosty Boy is looking very much on point with the passing plays. Even that one almost uh, reaching the hands of White Fox. So goal momentarily open from that slice. Um, just hesitates briefly enough and finds a shot. So White Fox doing it all himself. Had some available passes on the nest as well as the post, but can't argue the results that time. White Fox will hit the shot, and uh, thus far, White Fox with five points, Dragon King with four. And that's nine quick ones here after a few minutes of play for uh, Boosty Boys. So off that rollout, narrowly missing Dipman. Dipman trying to return that pass up high. Over to Neon. Neon diving in. The stuns from Delusion gets the goal. So great hit from Neon, assisted by Dipman, but Delusion, the indirect assist, because he punched out two different goalies there inside the goal for uh, Boosty Boys. And just the heady veteran play as, like, oh, we actually get a crash. That's unfortunate, it looks like. Crash or a restart? I, I wasn't able to hear any comms uh, publicly, so 
Game will reset there, and I guess taking a momentary timeout. So on that note, on that note, uh, there, I'll bring out the little timeout timer up above. See, lis listening to the early feedback from like an hour and a half ago when someone mentioned timeout button should, or counter should be moved up by the VR Master League thing. So I did, and there you go, just because I could. See, don't say I never did anything nice. Now that said, looks like we won't even need the, that timeout counter at all. I mean, the rejoin was pretty quick there. Why the timer is green, I don't know, just because. Okay, I'm back in. <laughs> I'll probably change it again. But nonetheless, uh, we're ready to we're ready to uh, go back, uh, provided that the disc spawn is in the right place, which I think the players are discussing at the moment. So, all right, there we go. No harm done. A 9-2 lead here in round one for Boosty Boys. Based off some hot shots between a Dragon King and White Fox. So unfortunately, couldn't catch the actual the stats on time before the reset. So it will be a loss to humanity, I do suppose. But nonetheless, Dragon King 696 hits a stuff muff on the pass and right back to the corner here. White Fox, too ambitious on that one. 17th charge. A good grab right from that corner, the, the bottom of the goal, I should say. And going for the boost now. Neon's there, has the open shot, and hits it. A good shot off of some great boost. So Spike going up against Boosty Boys. Reboot showing that they've got some boosts of their own. And that's a 9-4 to four, uh, margin now. Boosty Boys at the joust advantage, but Reboot trying to close in in the uh, second half of this first round. So very quick rollout being sent on the pass to Dragon King. Mentioned him and his offense uh, paying off as well as White Fox. I mean, that two-man uh, combination here. There it goes again. Dragon King assisted from White Fox. So between these two players, they are really just uh, connecting over and over, if not on goals, on passes that lead to goals. It's good team play being shown from Boosty Boys. So under five minutes remaining in this first round, Reboot rolling out. They opt for the uh, split down the tunnel, get a good pass to Neon. At the moment, you can uh, hear all those backline brawls doing good to maybe buy a numbers advantage, but no, uh, taking advantage instead is a White Fox, gets a good stun. So 17th charge, uh, goes up high, and oh, another crash. That's unfortunate as it's going to be recovered by Delusion. Couldn't find a goal, but does get an indirect kind of a pass to uh, Neon, but doesn't get the goal there either. And uh, looks like, ooh, not sure what's happening there. Alduin was there in the game and then dropped out quickly again. So having some sort of maybe connection issues, I'm not sure, kind of popping in and out. Uh, but nonetheless, White Fox gets the disc. At a numbers disadvantage at the moment, but not really a sh reflecting on, on uh, the play here. That said, Delusion does get the disc back. Sends a clear to the opposite side. And we're still awaiting the return of Boosty Boys' fourth as a Delusion grabs the disc from up high. So a soft uh, pass up here to Dipman. Dipman coming up from that shoulder looking for a nest pass, but not anyone there. No one home to collect. And all the meanwhile, another interception, another a stray shot will be rebounded, and oh, almost a save. Stuff Muff couldn't quite get it out of there. He was floating off to the left, so just didn't have enough oomph to uh, tap it out. So good grab there, but nonetheless, Reboot will be credited the goal. And say 11 to 6. Teams continuing to play on as the uh, one tech timeout here in this round was already expended from Boosty Boys, so. Just will have to play on. That said, there's Alduin again uh, coming back into the game. So hopefully he sticks around this time. We'll see. So there's Neon getting it stolen from White Fox. White Fox just dropping it off to the opposite pocket now. A 17th charge in the general area, but quick on the boost. Boosty boys trying to make some noise and 
win their uh, second match here of VRML in this first season. Reboot just as well, trying to, to do the same, get some wins here on the board as we uh, get this late season started. Going into week 10 and trying to uh, end this weekend. Oh man, that is going to be very close to a goal and it will eventually result in Dipman getting it through. So a tough turnaround there off the attempted clear. Again, uh, I think that was all doing just kind of floating downwards. So didn't really have a lot of places to go and couldn't get a lot of uh, juice behind that clear. So Wood just bounced barely off that uh, barrier and unfortunately into the goal. But Boosty Boys still with uh, three points of control. Now another turnover here, however, could change that in a hurry. So Reboot, seeing if they can hunker down, play some good defense here. Uh, that's what Reboot has, as much as anything, been known for, is their good bubble defense throughout this season and throughout preseason even. It's, it's one of their constants. Although the clear not going through, uh, that's sometimes been a, an issue for Reboot, is just getting the clears oftentimes. So they'll, they'll play excellent defense, uh, but then can't quite get the clears through to the other side and get the offense going. Uh, but if they can, you know, find that consistency, I mean, they'll be good right there. Oh, very good. There's a defense. I called the defensive play from a reboot, and they just, again, uh, proven how great they are. That was 17's charge with yet another save uh, again in this first round and doing well for his team. I mean, again, the defense just continues to impress uh, from a lot of these newer teams, newer players. And uh, right there going for the shot. Oh, Dipman couldn't quite get it. With 51 seconds left, though, it might be to Reboot's benefit that that did not go in because uh, now they're going to want to start attempting a three-point shot mighty soon. 40 seconds left. They're going to go for the two. And Alduin, even though he was stunned out, he actually does get the, the headbutt on it. He jumped for it with, with purpose, and he still found the uh, partial save. So got to give credit to Alduin, even though... Uh, as I just missed the replay there, unfortunately, but got to give credit to Alduin. He still made a nice play on the disc, even though he was stunned out. So 20 seconds left, and a reboot at this point. Uh, playing far back for some reason here. Uh, they, they need to play super aggressive on that joust, but instead opted for, for the uh, back play. Now that said, the pass deep does go uh, into the hands of Neon, so he actually does have a chance at the win. Oh, but couldn't get it through, and that's a tough miss off of what was almost a devastating shot there. Wow, that was a very, very much another crunch time finish, as we've, uh, we've seen from three matches in a row on this stream. Uh, wow. So a one point by the skin of their teeth. One point victory here. Boosty Boys 11 to 10. Now, unfortunately, our stats won't be uh, all too complete because of the resets, but we'll still get them in for you and go to the highlight screen and just see uh, some of those great plays that they provided across these two teams. But yeah, uh, interesting move though, still, as uh, we do get the see rematch now so they can reset the clocks and such. But, but yeah, for, for Reboot there, I was surprised they... I uh, left two players so far back, despite being down by one point at that juncture. And uh, I mean, so in that kind of case, you usually want to get like the double stacks going and just try and pressure, just try and pressure uh, the offensive uh, stack or offensive players heavily. Because he crashed and then he had system errors and then he couldn't connect to the internet and then he just. Because uh, you know, worst case scenario, Boosty Boys get a, a clear on that last joust and. If you have that secondary stack, or either of the stacks, really, you can still get back onto the orange side, reboot side of the floor, recollect the disc and whatnot, and and be uh, fine for, you know, be the offense and potential game winner. Of course, that being said, the disc was actually thrown deep into the back line, and reboot did uh, retrieve it. So it still worked out, and they at least got a good look at the shot at the end. Couldn't quite complete it, but got to be feeling good if you're reboot. Uh, even though the shot did miss, I mean... Early on in that first round, it was looking like maybe a uh, Boosty Boys were really gonna, just going to pull way ahead there with all those shots from a uh, White Fox and a uh, Dragon King. And yet, Reboot just stuck with it, stuck together. Hit some nice shots. Uh, Delusion had you know some good plays in there with some stuns and, and what have you. So, uh, you know, for Reboot, there's a lot to take from round one and into round two now and maybe find some more success. You know, very close match uh, so far. Now Alduin goes for that deep shot. Oh, is that <laughs> going to be on? No idea if that was intentional, but you know, we've seen so many players these days who can do it. And I would not be surprised at anything coming from Alduin. From, again, the 
five or six week old player at this point. He's he is a a baby in this game, so to speak, and yet he is just so very good at what what he does, which is to say goalkeeping. But even even shots. The other night, uh, I'll doing hit some great three point shots, uh, all on the outer edge of the bubble uh, this week. So doing a little bit of all uh, of it all for uh, his team and continuing to impress here for Boosty Boys. And there he is there on the midline, just trying to contest a bit as the cross pass just misses the hands of Dragon King, kind of diving out uh, off of that anchor. And uh, kind of again, so uh, I like Boozy Boys on their collection there. They're sending it to certain areas. They know their teammate is there. It's just a slightly off on the reception is all. But good looks nonetheless as that one heads off into the bubble. Bottom of the goal uh, taken here by Stuff Mup. So Stuff sends a clear down. Reboot trying to get that disc back, but Dragon King is just going to be there for the reception again. Uh, Grumpy back there in the chat again cheering on Reboot. But right now it's Boosty Boys. Uh, they escaped. Kind of best way to, to describe the first round. Uh, Boosty Boys escaped with a win. One point in the very final seconds. And it was it was very, very close. So Boosty Boys definitely want to find themselves a little bit of momentum here and not, uh, not allow Reboot to find any confidence you know, off of the, the good almost comeback that they pulled off last round. And that said, it will be a shot here. Dragon King slings it in. And that's kind of been the constant. It's, as I said, Dragon King and White Fox. If they're not shooting it and scoring it, they're the ones assisting it. Uh, huge games for them so far on the offensive line. Got Meatballer as well, cheering on Boosty Boys, it would seem. So a little, little bit of a 50-50 split here between the chat, at least as of now, cheering on these two teams. I mean, I, I like both of them. I can't, it's hard to say. I'll, I'll do in and, you know, got to, again, I know I shout them out a lot, but uh, you just, you just got to love <laughs> the new player coming in here and being so so calm and collected at the game. And not, not only that, but uh, super, just a good dude as well. You know, super uh, polite and articulate and just, you know, has the right head for the game as uh, going ahead for the points is White Fox. So, you know, picking my, picking my favorites and whatnot. Got to shout him out. But then over on Reboots, you know, love these guys as well. Very skilled players at the defensive end, progressing, uh, you know, uh, throughout the course of the preseason and season one. And then, yeah, as Grumpiest Brew mentions in the chat, Delusion being his boy, well, me too, kind of, because... Yeah, Delusion uh, making his return into competitive play, and got, you got to kind of cheer that on too because I haven't seen Delusion for a solid year, maybe two years even at this point. So the fact that we're seeing his uh, return into competitive play here in 4v4 and on Reboot uh, also gives me a reason, an extra reason to cheer for Reboot. So it's really either team I would be happy with winning here, honestly. But it's just good to see all these, uh, all these faces Trying to find their place in competitive play. Oh, and there's the lols are the best. Saying go Boosty. So he, for the moment, breaks the tie in Twitch chat uh, in favor of Boosty Boys. So I'll do in with that reception. A good bounce pass over. You see what I mean there? I I, I feel like that was intentional as well. Who does that five weeks into the game? It's, it's, it's silly uh, in a good way. <laughs> it's silly, though. Nonetheless, the stack's coming out here. A dip man trying to collect the disc, but kind of getting uh, caught up in the geo. So White Fox gets the disc back. Back passes out to uh, Alduin, uh, ready and waiting at the goal. Uh, that one will just bounce off the geo, but uh, not too much harm done yet. Take that back because the shot will go. But Stuff Muff doing a good job to rotate into the goal. So right back here to White Fox. He'll take a deep a bounce shot. Could it be in? Maybe if it not for 17th charge. At 17th, he's been playing some good defense. Already a few saves in this game, and oh, there's another one for him at the very least. Now 17th charge somehow gets end to end, finds himself at the front line, buying Neon some time, trying to dribble uh, to and fro around the back, but doesn't get the goal, but he will get the pass. Now 17th charge, dealing a stun to the goalie, enabling Neon the shot. So Neon, a great hit. Delusion the assist, the 17th of the charge, the punch on the goalie. A, a full buffet of every possible move there from Reboot to get their first two in round two.
So on this launch out, left tunnel pass over to Dragon King. Dragon King trying to bounce it on over and gets to White Fox. Uh, very ambitious, ambitious. Uh, sorry, from 17th charge because he uh, left the goal wide open. But you know what? He trusted his hands. He trusted his stuns, and it did in fact get them the disc back for at least a little bit. But uh, before too long, it's Boosty Boys back on the collection. And as I say that, we'll be right back. Maybe to reboot. No, uh, just missing the slap. Looked like maybe a lost hand there. Unfortunately, now 17th charge takes it. Goes for a, a passing play. Hits Dipman. Goal being covered off just now. Delusion going for the play up high and rebounded by Alduin. Didn't really get a good angle up that, unfortunately, so it bounces over into the midfield. So over here, White Fox taking the disc and starting to uh, spread the floor. I got Alduin over at Nest, and at the bottom ramp, it's Dragon King. Again, trying to play some of that two man game there with the back passes and forward, uh, but no one there to receive that one. Alduin still coming through. And again, the, he knew where to put it. I'm telling you. Uh, you know, I've been saying a long time. I'm not saying Alduin is this person by any stretch. I, I mean, maybe he is, maybe he's not. But I've been talking a lot over the seasons and over the weeks, and just in general. Uh, I feel like because of, you know, the, the nicheness of this game, uh, as it grows more and more popular, which it definitely is now, and especially as the quest release comes out, I kind of mentioned we haven't seen our... Uh, a lot of those, uh, oh, good pass there for a dunk to White Fox. So hold that thought as uh, White Fox holds the disc. But I was saying, we've had a lot of talented players show up. We haven't really seen our, our, our quote-unquote naturals, or at least a whole lot of those natural-born, you know, players. For Alduin, maybe he's one of those. Natural-born, uh, dragon-born, if nothing else. But yeah, I'm still waiting to see our uh, version of LeBron, Michael Jordan, those type of players. Wayne Gretzky, you know? And as more and more players get involved in it, I would not be surprised as that shot just gets off. I would not be surprised at all to uh, see with the increased user base, just more of those natural born killers uh, in Echo Arena coming to play. Now Alduin receiving a nest pass up top, going for an anchor shot, will drop down below. A rebounded successfully by Dragon King. He's going to be there along with Stuff Muff. Stuff Muff there, maybe for a back pass, but no. Losing the handles, Delusion takes that over and going for that uh, left tunnel clear as they form their boost. Boosty Boys trying to put together the speed, and they do have enough speed to get into the goal at the very least. Uh, but not opting for the back pass there, so just sending a forward one, which uh, may not buy them the opportunities that they wanted, as it does get tapped out here for reboot. So one minute 20 remaining for Boosty Boys, uh, ahead by five points. Now if they can make this shot, that will buy them a lot of a comfort, but cannot, unfortunately. So Reboot continuing to try and hold this line on defense, but uh, needing to get it going on the offense within this final minute. Need a few goals, so we'll see what uh, what happens here. But Boosty Boys may be about to uh, win their second match of the season as uh, White Fox gets stunned out by Neon. Meanwhile, Delusion with that disc. Again, timeout on the side, so they do need to get a quick uh, clear and boost or something going as a clear does... Bounce right off the mid lane and take it back by Stuff Muff. So window beginning to close. Uh, there's a beautiful pass woven and the shot just to cap it off from White Fox. Uh, nice assist though from Stuff Muff. Way deep down. Perfect placement and great shot. Uh, that will definitely seal it here. 10 to 2. The first round score, lols are the best uh, asking that in Twitch chat. First round score, as this rollout goes out, was 11 to 10. It was just, uh, it was barely, barely won there by Boosty Boys. Reboot had almost made a nice comeback. And then round two, however, Boosty Boys uh, much more in firm control uh, throughout, uh, holding it with the 12 point to two advantage. And that will conclude this match. So this one going to two rounds here. Uh, again, competitive first round. The last two matches here on stream as well were just both super competitive. We had a couple game winners in the last uh, couple series. And then in, in the first round of this match, a near game winner didn't quite go through. But still, some exciting plays for sure and some exciting finishes as it seems to be the constant for a lot of these Sunday matches over the weeks in particular. Uh, but nonetheless... Victory going here to Boosty Boys, so congratulations to them. They will go now to uh, a record of 2-6 and six after a few weeks of play here in Season 1. Reboot uh, 
falling now 3 and 13. Uh, again, just good efforts there. The defense always nice. And I think adding Delusion into the, the game here for Reboot, uh, onto the roster that is, Delusion's going to be a good pickup, I feel. Uh, definitely someone who can contribute <clears throat> on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, someone who was on early early on in, you know, 2017 and 2018. I mean, right, right, right up there, you know, kind of pressing upon those, those top four uh, spots as part of Team Solace. I mean, it was a... Uh, Back in the day, it was all bunched up. Uh, season one of uh, VRL ESL, you know, with the likes of you know my team Eclipse up there, uh, number one. Not not trying to <laughs> to flex. I'm just saying, uh, but you know Eclipse holding that one seed. Uh, Fangasm's number two, if I'm recalling correctly. You had Kangorillas number three. No, maybe Lamplighters. Either way, top four was Eclipse, Fangasms, Lamplighters, Kangorillas. That much I know. I'm pretty sure Kangos was number three at the time. Uh, and the roster back then was Sealable, Loveridge, and uh, and uh, top of my head, Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpiest Broom, of course. And uh, yeah. So back in the day, though, Delusion was right there on Team Solace alongside the likes of uh, Ganja Flux and The Burn. Uh, 3v3 and I actually just heard from DeBurn recently as well uh, on discord uh, kind of reached out and you know exchanged some messages and stuff so it's like I said it's it's really good seeing the, these veteran players uh, coming back into the into the mix and just seeing what they can do so I think for reboot despite the loss tonight uh, delusion will be a, a great uh, member of their roster you know, just given a little bit of time maybe to get integrated into the new meta and used to 4v4 and shake off any of that uh, mechanical rust. But otherwise, uh, very happy to see him back in the game. Uh, anyway, off of that, that will be our final match of the night. It's been a busy afternoon and evening for sure. Uh, Late Toast asking, can I acknowledge your question? Yes, sure. <laughs> can we get a pun reward for 1k? What? What does that entail exactly? If you uh, redeem 1k points, I have to say a certain pun on a certain player or something. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm definitely looking quite soon. I, I want to get some uh, more channel rewards and sub rewards and things like that. And it's just, I, I, people have been asking for it, so apologies for being slow on it. There's just been so many different, um, I guess, priorities on the list, uh, you know, on the stream asset side of things and a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff. So. I, it kind of took a back burner a little bit on the stream end of things, on the Twitch end of things, I should say. So, uh, will definitely be a priority going into the late season, especially into season two. Definitely kind of revamping and upgrading the Twitch side of things with uh, just some more uh, nuggets, I guess. <laughs> nuggets of uh, stuff you can participate with and whatever, you know? Yeah. Uh, we'll get it done. Trust me. Anyway. Also, no, I'm not. So, I'm not. I'm not. Wasn't fishing for compliments. I, you know, not a woe is me type thing. I'm. I'm just explaining myself as all. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely hear you guys. I want to get some new Twitch stuff integrated for sure, and it's on the list, so we will do it. Uh, but yes, you have 12k points. I have 19.7k. Somehow, Rox allegedly, allegedly has like 20 or 30k or something. I don't know. But in any case, yeah, there's a lot of points to spend, so we'll 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 figure it out. I don't know about that though. How does how would Rox have more points than me? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Hacks. Call on hacks. Now, meet meet Baller saying Pally would be a good caster at the moment he stops rhyming Baller with with the holler. I don't even do it that much. Ease off, buddy. <laughs> Next time then I'll just say it's Meet Baller, the staller. He's trying to be a shot caller, but I'm going to holler because it's all over the place. And that's a big disgrace as I try to wind down this stream in a supreme fashion. I'm pretty, I'm pretty spent now, so I'm not going to stop my rhymes. I got to go eat. Fun fact, Palidor, ha Palidor has not had lunch, breakfast, lunch, or dinner today. True story. Um, I'm out of it. Anyway. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Get prepared for week 9, or week 10, rather. Wow, week 10 already. Uh, and yeah, and I'm going to try and stave off starvation. So yes, for everyone who joined us tonight, 
Meatballer saying, go eat, nerd. Yeah, why don't you? Uh, I'm going to go off and uh, have some waffles or something. I don't know. But thank you for joining me. It's been fun streams, fun night, lots of games, lots of good endings and whatnot. For everyone there uh, in the Twitch chat, be safe, be happy, be healthy, be kind to one another. Jeez, with all the steez this week, I don't even know sometimes. People be going stir crazy. Uh, but yes, I'll see you again real soon. Buy my mixtape. Just kidding, I don't have one. Enjoy that, though. Later.